What's up gamers, I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Blizzard continues to refine Diablo 4 with the latest hotfix to its significant Loot Reborn patch, which overhauled core game systems last week. This hotfix introduces a major change by dramatically reducing the cost of gold of transmutation for master working items, making it much cheaper for the players. The cost for the large Inglef cash dropped from 6 million gold to just 60,000, with similar reductions for other caches. Master reworking allows players to upgrade powerful items using materials from the new endgame dungeon, The Pit. This update, alongside various performance and stability improvements, has been well received, reflecting Blizzard's effective use of PTR for playtesting. The game's first major expansion, Vessel of Hatred, is also on the horizon, teasing a lush, jungle-like setting. Helldivers 2 developer Arrowhead Game Studios has a new CEO. Paradox veteran Sam Sturjani is replacing the old CEO, who is now fully focused on his role as Helldivers 2 creative director. The old CEO agrees with players' criticism about the game's need for more interesting armor stats, improved weapons, and greater variety in planets and gameplay. He has committed to be more active in the community and addressing those issues. Starting with rebalancing weapons and ensuring that the development team plays the game more to make informed decisions. Arrowhead also announced a new slower pace for new patches to maintain high quality with significant changes expected in the future. Blizzard's recent updates to Diablo 4's economy introduced in Season 4 has significantly impacted players. Initially, the game suffered from a broken economy where gold became worthless after the campaign. The new master working system, which allows for gear stat upgrades at World Tier 4, was particularly costly, leading to a gold bottleneck. Blizzard responded with a hotfix that dramatically reduced these costs, but opinions remain divided. Some players appreciated the changes, while others, especially casual players, enjoy the challenges of maintaining gold. Blizzard continues to monitor and adjust the economy, aiming to balance player satisfaction. IGN Entertainment, owned by Zeph Davis, has acquired the entire gamer network, including prominent gaming sites such as Eurogamer, GamesIndustry.biz, Rock Paper Shotgun, and VG247, along with stakes in other sites like Outside Xbox and Digital Foundry. The buyout has already led to significant layoffs among journalists. The gaming journalism industry is already struggling against competition from YouTube, Twitch, and Google's increasingly challenging search policies, now compounded by the dominance of mega sites like IGN. This move mirrors previous buyouts, such as Fandom's acquisition of GameSpot and Giant Bomb. While some standalone sites like Polygon remain relatively healthy, others like Kotaku face ongoing challenges. After turning Cyberpunk 2077 around post-launch and releasing the acclaimed Phantom Liberty expansion, CD Projekt Red is now focusing on new projects. Among these projects are Project Hard R, the developer's first original IP. In an interview with Games Radar, former Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty guest designer Maria Mazar expressed excitement about creating an entirely new IP, emphasizing the team's diverse talents in storytelling and artistry. Earlier this year, CD Projekt Red confirmed that Project RR is not set in feudal Japan, teasing more details to come. Square Enix has announced that the Kingdom Hearts series will be available on Steam starting June 13th, celebrating with a trailer featuring a new recording of Hikaru Yutada's Simple and Clean. The trailer showcases the games in chronological order, helping fans and newcomers understand the play order. Steam will offer three collections, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5, 5 plus 2.5 Remix, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, and Kingdom Hearts 3 plus Free Mind DLC with a bundled option called Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpiece. Despite the chronological trailer, the games are not bundled in that order, requiring players to navigate between collections to follow the story. This move precedes the Summer Game Fest hinting at a potential Kingdom Hearts 4 reveal and aims to attract new players while stirring nostalgic among longtime fans. Hellblade 2 has wild audiences with its next generation visuals and now the game is available on Steam and the Xbox app. 
players can check if their PC meets the minimum, medium, recommended, or very high spec needed to run the game. Minimum requirements include an Intel i5 or AMD Ryzen 5 CPU, 60 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA GTX 1070 or an AMD RX 5700 with at least 6 gigabits of VRAM. The game requires 70 gigabytes of SSD storage. Reviews are available to help undecided players and Xbox Game Pass subscribers can try the game for free. Hellblade 2's visual appeal makes it necessary for players to ensure their PCs are up to the challenge, with the options to buy the game on Steam and Microsoft Store, or play via Game Pass. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.